When the pin busters get together for a national tournament, there's plenty of science and plenty of noise as everyone strives to make the perfect score. In the United States and Canada, there are approximately 20 million devotees to the sport and over 10,000 alleys to take care of them. Bowling today is a national sport. Thousands of leagues have sprung up for friendly but very earnest competition. But this great game isn't only for men. Women and children by the millions are ardent fans. It's a sport in which women often excel men in technique, accuracy, and form. Of course, it's not all tournament play. The tricksters have their innings giving exhibitions of unusual skill and performing with amazing dexterity like this. Then there is another shot that might be called the Brave Ten Soldiers. And as you see, with the help of a trick cameraman, anything can happen. Some tricksters forget that the ball has thumb and finger holes. They use both hands and take it easy. Here's a left-handed shot that has the right finish. There's plenty of English on that ball to make it perform. This one's more difficult, and it takes an expert to do it. Now let's meet our star performer, Joe Falcaro, one of bowling's all-time greats. Joe says if you want to be a real pin buster, be sure to select the right ball, have it rest comfortably in your hand with the fingers inserted in the holes so that there is no pinch to the grip. One shoe should have a rubber sole and heel, the other elk skin. Which one depends on whether you are left or right-handed. Let's watch the old master put one in the 1-3 pocket. Contrary to custom for a right-handed bowler, Joe can hit them between the one and two pins also. Joe claims he takes only four steps when he bowls, but when he sees this, he'll learn differently. Now watch. One, two, three, four, five. Slow motion continues as Joe makes another strike. The ball is traced to show his astounding accuracy. Joe is always interested in developing youngsters and juveniles in the sport. Watch this 19-year-old young lady knock him down. Analyzed in slow motion, we see that she throws a slightly hooked ball and aims for the pocket between the one and three pins. This is real talent in the alleys and a promising future. Sometimes Joe gets only a spare, leaves one standing. But that doesn't worry him very much, especially if it's the 10 pin that is left. He has a way all his own for picking it off. Watch this. There's one at every tournament, comedian we mean. They cast aside all rules and regulations. Again, with the help of the trick cameraman, it's a strike made in a horizontal position. This is called the vibration shot. It looks difficult, but anyone can do it. Just set 10 to 12 pins up in twin alleys and balance a pin atop each. Take the proper steps and easy swing, let her go. And no matter what pin you hit first, they'll all go down. Try this the next time you're out rolling for the big ones. Now 
Joe introduces Mike, a chip off the old block in a perfect timing exhibition. Mike rolls a slow ball, then Joe goes after the 10 and both hit simultaneously. Watch the old champ do this one. Five pins and two alleys and only one ball. It looks impossible, but as you can see, it isn't. Here he goes again. Three pins in two alleys, and it's a more difficult shot to make. Here it is slowed up. Joe will have to hit that first pin in exactly the right spot to make it. Sometimes they are direct hits. Sometimes you get it on the rebound, and that's the way this one is made. Now in slow motion, we'll show you how it all looks to the pin boy. An anxious, determined expression seems to be necessary. Perfectly timed steps, a wide swing, then those few moments of anxiety. The follow through with the right hand at making funny faces doesn't mean a thing. But placing the ball right down there between and one and three pins means something. grand sport for the rich man, the poor man, a queen, or a housewife. Leave the dishes in the sink and bring the whole family along. Everyone can take turns babysitting when mama starts to chalk up strikes and spares. Some get so excited that they're almost afraid to look when the ball hits the pins. Competitive bowling attracts crowds of spectators that would do proud to any popular sport. And estimates give $750 million as the amount spent each year in equipment and incidentals. Tall or short, thin or fat, the idea is to knock the pins down, not the alley. Some knock themselves down and watch out for splinters. Competition is not only rife between leagues, certain jealousies exist between individual players, even the embryo champions. But here's the right spirit exemplified by one of our youngest stars. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Dry your hands, take another ball and let her go. Some folks get pretty gloomy when all the pins don't go down. But when they make a strike, they go crazy. 